hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so i am just thought i'd film a little um get ready with me i'm getting ready to go to a party tonight and just thought i would film me doing my makeup um and have like a little catch up because i had a bit of a crazy week to be honest so i just thought i'd just yeah talk you what through has happened talk you through what's happened does that make sense yeah um also everything in that i do is going to be not everything i do like for example i've got my cherry aid that's going to be backwards because i've got the camera facing me if that makes sense but um yes so i have had a little bit of a crazy week um i was driving to go to the shop and then go to work on tuesday morning and um i had a car accident so it was okay actually it wasn't i don't know why i thought i was going to be able to talk and do makeup this isn't going to be very easy because i can't really talk whilst i do things but um yeah i had a car accident basically i was driving towards the town that i work in and as i was just driving along this car came out of a junction onto my side of the road um well basically let me kind of show you with my hands because otherwise it's not gonna make sense so i was driving along the road and there's a junction here and he came out of the junction as i was driving um and my car's been written off everyone was okay um so like from my perspective it's really bad but i'm trying to look at it like the positives of it um but yes the other driver was a fairly new driver so i'm gonna sneeze maybe not i don't know now um yeah the other driver was a fairly new driver so i really felt for him but um I don't really know whether or not you should talk about this kind of thing on the internet to be honest I, maybe i'll just um not explain everything but um yeah basically we're both okay just i think in a bit of shock um i've never actually had a collision with anyone else so that did scare me quite a lot um but there were some people who were actually very helpful didn't get anyone's name so that's a shame but they did really really help um so I really appreciate that. But yeah, my car's been written off. I would think from the damage on his car that his car's been written off. Um, so yeah, not fantastic. And then I had to wait for ages. So they told me that I'd be able to have a higher car. Um, so I was like waiting to hear all day. Um, I went into work and I did miss a couple of calls, but no one left messages to say anything. Um, but yeah, basically I was waiting to hear, thinking, am I going to get one? Because I thought, how am I going to get to work the next day? Um, and then I got a call that evening um, to say, could I get over to like another town half an hour away? And I was like, no, <laughs> like obviously not. Um, so that was a little bit annoying. But they did manage to get someone in to bring me the car. So I've got another... Um, at 500 that i um have got as a higher car sorry i'm trying to do my makeup at the same time i don't know why i thought i was gonna be able to do this it's really difficult actually um but yeah i've got a higher car that i can drive for a little bit and i'm glad that it's a fee as well because i am not like i don't think i'd be able to drive big cars very well um so i was really worried i said to the guy i was like what kind of car is it gonna be like i was getting quite anxious actually um, and he said, oh, it'll be pretty similar to what you've had. And I was thinking pretty similar, like it's going to be, it could be anything. Um, but yeah, they man they rocked down the road in a Fiat. I was so excited. I got out there <laughs> straight away. I was like, oh, thank you so much. Because I thought, I know that like some people were like, oh, they'll surely just bring it to you because you haven't got a car. But I don't know the fact that this um, guy had offered or like come in and done overtime if that is what happened i really appreciated that because it's just saved me stress because i was thinking i'm gonna have to like stay at my parents house until i've got access to a car and i was just getting really worried um but it all turns out okay 
so this happened on tuesday as i'm filming this is saturday so it's still very fresh um I've got peach rings i'm gonna have one but um yeah as i say everyone was okay and that really is the main thing i don't know exactly what happened but um yes <laughs> um yeah it wasn't my fault basically so i'm trying to look at the positives the small positives that there are from this situation that mean i will be getting a new car um so the amount that i'm gonna get i don't I know how much i'm gonna get as like a payout i have a feeling it's not gonna be enough to even get the same type like type of car age and mileage because my car is actually quite low mileage i don't do a lot of miles so i am slightly concerned by that because i wasn't expecting to be buying a new car <laughs> um this year or to be honest with you in the next few years really because my car's got a lot of life in it and it was well we did have a lot of life in it really sad actually it's um yes it's very sad <laughs> mourning my car but you know it is what it is it can't be helped so i'm just trying to yeah look at the positives and try and be excited by the fact i've got a new car you can really tell the difference in this makeup that i've only done the bottom half of my face can't you you can't really tell it that much in person but um yes so i'm getting ready now because i've got a friend's 40th birthday party and i'm always late to places it's just my thing um i get it from my mother <laughs> sorry mum, if you're watching but she is always late everywhere and that is what, where i get it from i'm never late to work and oh, i don't know i've actually gotten so much better since i don't live with her i think it was like contagious <laughs> i think she gave me the whole lateness vibes but um yeah i've actually gotten so much better so i oh god i'm trying to put my mirror up so i can actually see what i'm doing um i'm determined not to be late to this party and i'm actually picking people up on the way so yeah <laughs> but yeah that is kind of to be honest that's like my only main update really i think i don't think anything else crazy has happened to me yet but I mean, I've had to drive that route. because So I've never had an accident with another person before. I've had a collision. No, it's not a collision if it's not. I've had an accident by myself before. That was... Um, cause so oh, I think most people know, like, you're most likely to get to have your first accident within your first year of driving. Um, and I had mine. Well, this kid out here is in his first two weeks. Um, but I had mine within my first month of driving i was driving into a city nearby so i was so i was going to stay at my friend's house um and yeah we were going to get ready i was going to obviously leave my car and stay overnight and we were going to go out in the town um like clubbing or whatever and uh, i don't know it's one of them not i can laugh about it now but like again no one was hurt um i've been very lucky actually to not actually get hurt myself but um yeah basically what happened then this is just me talking about having car accidents it's not very nice for it is it but because everyone was okay otherwise i probably wouldn't obviously be speaking about this um but yeah with the one when i just passed my test um i was coming along a road on a roundabout and i span round like my car span round lifted up took out a, a signpost and landed face face up thankfully in a ditch um so yeah that was very scary as well but it was with such force i remember when people say your life flashes behind, like flashes what's the saying your life flashes behind i don't know what the saying is but your life flashes by basically um that literally happened and i like just remember screaming i did that this time as well just to scream um and my phone landed in my lap and i remember thinking um oh my god everyone's gonna think i was on my phone but i think you can kind of tell like i might be wrong but i think that they can kind of see if you were on your phone in like the time frame um 
but that wasn't what happened so then obviously my parents thought oh she was just going too fast and i was like no no i promise i promise i wasn't like it was rainy so the conditions weren't great but i wasn't going too fast and then god it looks like i've got quite a lot of makeup on it doesn't look like this in my mirror i promise okay i'm not like caking it on it really is actually quite natural um but yeah so my parents thought i was going too fast even if they say they didn't they definitely did think that um because why wouldn't you think that you know your child's just crashed around about but then so we went to get my car out the ditch the next day because this happened at night so and it was like peeing it down rain so we went to get my car out the ditch the next day and where obviously in part people were like being nosy like everyone kind of does don't they they kind of have a little look around and see what's going on um i'm probably thinking oh that girl's the one who crashed her car <laughs> um and four four other cars also span round and i was they were all okay like nothing happened with them they just kind of span one guy span rounds and then went the wrong way around the roundabout one guy span like in a circle and one guy just kind of skidded um but so that's very but yeah um so that happened and i said dad look and he saw that they skidded and it turns out that i think there was oil in the road so that could have been a catastrophe but that was very scary so that was another one but honestly every time i've had like some sort of incident like that it's not been my fault um but i've been very lucky to be honest because it could have ended like both of these things could have ended very very differently um and i'm very grateful so yeah i mean that didn't actually write off my first car either what wrote off not wrote off but what finished off my first car was that the head gasket went so my car lived to see another day but not my little fiat this time so i think i'm gonna get another fiat um because to be perfectly honest with you as i said i couldn't i wasn't expecting to be buying another car so i don't really think i've got thousands and thousands to put down on another car and i don't know how much they're going to give me because obviously what i paid for my car the value of used cars has gone up so much now so if i were to replace my car with the same age and mileage i don't know if i could get that for that money so i'm a little bit concerned because i don't know how much i'm gonna get and i have a feeling that i'm just gonna get offered really low um but we'll see and i don't know how long that happens but i've only got a week after they after i accept what they offer me um i've only got a week further with the hire car which i think is really unfair because it's not a week from when the money lands in your account so they could offer me the money and i could be like yes that's fine i'll take that and then they could not pay it to me for like three weeks and that means i've got to pay the hire car at my own cost which i don't know how much hire cars are I should have asked the guy but i didn't um and so yeah that's gonna be expensive and i'm not i can't justify like 100 pounds a day which is i don't know why that's in my head but that's how much i imagine it would be um but yeah so that's that is my um current situ kind of looking for a new car um obviously i know i can add to the value they give me myself but if used cars are going up so much i know i have loads to add to it um but we'll see it's fine i'm not gonna panic and i'm not gonna worry because that's not gonna achieve anything i will be saying to them no i like i cannot buy my car for that age and mileage because my as i said my car has quite low mileage so i will be putting my foot down because that's not fair like the car didn't need to be replaced before that it wasn't going to be replaced so yeah i ain't taking no crap oh such a hot day today so i don't know what i'm going to wear to this party i don't really know if it's indoors or outdoors so um, yeah i'm not sure what to wear i don't really have any dresses that i feel are appropriate just for reference it's like 26 degrees let's say 25 when i'm at the party later um so i don't really know what to wear i'm a bit unsure 
but I was thinking my blue trousers, obviously I've got blue nails, my blue trousers that I got from H&M, if you saw my H&M and my Primark haul, then I haven't worn them yet, maybe them. <laughs> By the way, I don't leave my blush like this. I use my brush that I do for my foundation bronzer and buff it in. But um, yeah, so I might wear them with like maybe a black vest top tucked in. But then, so I'm a bit of a weirdo. I can't drive in loads of shoes. I can drive in trainers. Um, but I can't drive in sandals. So I might, I might wear sandals. Where's my... Oh. But that would mean driving trainers and changing sandals on it. I feel like everyone will laugh at me. But I just can't. I'm just, I feel like I'm really like lost for eye makeup inspiration these days. I never really know what to put on. So I'm just putting, I don't know if you can see. Okay, this is showing it to be a lot more colorful. Like I said, my face isn't as full coverage as that's looking at all. Um, But yeah, this like brownie color on my eyeshadow palette um, from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. I'm putting on because I just feel like I'm lacking inspiration. I don't ever really know what to put on my eyes. I know so, it's like so many people don't wear eyeshadow, do they? But I don't know. Maybe I'll add a little bit of sparkle. Let's see. I've got a bit of a headache. I think it's like a stress headache because I've been at work today. And I'm always like, and I don't know where I'm picking one of the girls up from. She lives in a village and she just sent me a message. She wants me to meet by the church. I said, I don't know where the church is. I just said, yeah, sure. I'll just drive around the whole of the village looking out for her. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hate driving places, I don't know. But I know where the party is, so that's okay. And I know where the other girls live. It's just typical that I'm picking up the one that I don't know where she lives first, so I haven't got anyone to direct me. But that's fine. Bit nervous, so in my makeup bag, this is where I keep all my brushes. When I, <laughs> I've got the camera all ready, and then I went to get my first brush out and there was a spider on in the bag. So I'm a little bit nervous that there might be like other spiders. So Jack had to come up and get out. I hadn't pressed film, thankfully. Right, I'm just gonna go with that on my eyes, which is like a, don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, don't really wanna show you the mirror. But um, that colour and then the gold. I didn't use the other one. <laughs> right, and then I'm gonna do my mascara. So, for my bottom lashes, I'm using the Anika Long Lash Mascara. Again, I know this is something not everyone does bottom lashes, do they? But I just always do. And then I curl my top lashes. And I think I mentioned this before maybe in a video, but you have got to be so careful with curling your eyelashes because I was doing one girl's um, lashes once and I said to her, have you cut some of your eyelashes? And she said to me, no, I used eyelash curlers and they snapped. So it, it scares me a little bit, but I always brush through my top lashes but I do this with the bottom ones. And then I curl them. Not for too long, but just to give them a bit of a lift. I'm quite lucky with my eyelashes anyway, to be honest. They are quite curly and long. I get that from my dad. Then I just give them a brush through again. Then I use that Anika mascara just to separate them all out. So they look like that. Sorry, I'm just reading because someone just sent me a message and I can't reply to her until I finish filming this because it's on my phone. Um, then I use the FM, that's so embarrassing to show you, that's grim, um, Legendary HD Mascara. This has got a thicker one, so this is gonna like volume them up a bit. I'm 
understand it kind of looks like that. Okay, no, no, I don't like that. Oh. Does anyone else ever do that where you just miss the tube and get it everywhere? That's so annoying. Um, not I don't like that, but basically, I can just see the inner corner is a little bit clumped. Cool. Um, and then I'm going to just do the same, obviously, on the other eye. Brush it through. I don't know why I'm trying to do it without a mirror. I'm not helpful. Brush it through. Lash curlers. This mirror I've got, I know it looks really grim in there. It doesn't look as grim as that in person. Honestly, I feel like that is just showing up everything more. Um, but yeah, this mirror is actually really handy because so I have to do my makeup in natural light. I just can't. One of my friends, she used to be able to do it. Like, she could have the main light on and the curtains closed. And I'd be like, no, that's so weird. Um, Because I want to see that I'm not going out orange, you know? But, yeah, this mirror, anyway, is so helpful because it's obviously portable. It's actually got a light on the back and it's got... Um, I don't know if you can see, there's lights, there's lights down it. So that means that... Obviously, you can um, get like a bit of natural light if it is dark outside or whatever. with them and then what we're gonna do for lips i'm gonna line my lips with the mac lip pencil in saw this obviously it's not a good combination i'm gonna be silent aren't i And then I'm gonna, my go to lipstick at the moment is a MAC Modesty. So I'm gonna put that on definitely. How gorgeous is this colour? Oh, where's the camera over here? It's like a, a pinky nude. It's lovely. Yeah, I like that. So I think this is how my makeup's gonna look. Obviously my hair's not gonna look like this. Um, I'm gonna have it just down and then I'll, I'll show you my outfit and um, what I do go for and what I do decide to wear. But I think that's my makeup done. I'm trying to think whether or not, cause I, I like quite a full coverage um, look. So I'm thinking I could add a little bit what I'm doing, by the way, is this is like a trampoline thing. Um, so I'm just like shaking it to get some more out. But I think if I, because you can kind of top this up quite easily, I'm just going to buff it in. Um, but yeah, almost done my makeup. So I'm going to do my hair and then show you what I decide to wear. Um, but yeah, that is my little updates about the um, car situation. But yeah, I'm gonna do my hair and then I will show you what it looks like. Probably not the next clip you were expecting to see. Um, sorry, I completely just ran out of time. I was in a rush, um, as I'm always in a rush. And so I didn't um, film my outfit. But I wore my black vest top from my FNF Tesco haul, my blue wide length, wide length, wide leg trousers from my H&M haul, some cute sandals and a little crossbody, but it's also like a little handbag and I had blue nails obviously to go over my trousers. Um, so yeah, sorry that I forgot to film that. <laughs> Not very good. I promise I will get better and I will remember. Um, but we actually had a really, really good night. I was driving, so I didn't drink at all. But that meant I woke up feeling fresh on Sunday. 
um but yes i hope you enjoyed this little catch up um get ready with me i just thought i'd update you all on what happened and um yeah just ca catch you up whilst i was doing my makeup and getting ready basically um i know that you're expecting a she in haul as well that is coming um basically half my delivery turned up really really quick and then half of it just hasn't turned up yet and i just wanted to do it all together so that will be coming in the next video so yeah i hope you liked watching this if you did please hit subscribe and i will see you in my next one